Hey, welcome back, guys. So, Techno just released the Techno Common 15 and the Techno Common 15 Pro. Now, in some countries like Nigeria and some other parts of the world, the Pro version is going to be called the Techno Common 15 Premier. So, it's still basically the same phone with different names, right? So, in the last weeks, I'm sure you've actually seen review videos of the Techno Common 15 and the Techno Common 15 Premier and all the marketing gimmicks that goes on in the time like this when a new phone is released. Now, personally, I've not been able to lay my hands on the phone because of the current 1.9 situation. My city is currently on the lockdown. It's been like this for about a month now. And they've still not told us when this um, lockdown is going to be lifted. And so we're still stuck here for a while. So even if I wanted to buy the phone online, there's no way I'm going to buy it. Because even if I succeed in buying it, it's not going to be delivered to me because you can't come into my city. But thanks to the internet and some other YouTubers that laid their hands on it earlier, we have all the facts that we need to know and some things we need to talk about. And we need to know if this phone is actually worth your money, right? I mean, you're the one that works for the money, so you're the one that is buying the phone. And so you need to know if what you're buying is actually worth um, your box. Hmm? So this year, Techno decided to release only two phones. That's the Techno Camon 15 and the Techno Camon 15 Pro. Now, this video basically I'm going to be focusing more on the Pro version because that's where the major upgrade is. Now the regular Camon 15 is basically the Techno Camon 11 and the Techno Camon 12 packaged in a different container. The only major upgrade there is in the battery which the Techno Camon 15 now comes with the 5000 milliamps battery against the 4000 milliamps that came on the Camon 12 and also um, the cameras it now comes with a 48 megapixel camera against the 16 megapixel that came um, in the Camon 12. So, Apart from that, it still comes with a 720p display, um, the same, I think, Hello P22 processor and all those stuff. So specs, spec-wise, except the battery, is still basically the same thing. Now, moving over to the Pro version or the Premier version, you, st you now get this um, very fine design. Like, I haven't um, had a hands-on on the phone, but from looking at it from a distance and from review videos we've seen, You'll actually agree with me that the phone looks very solid and it looks well built. I like the new camera's design at the back, the motorized selfie pop-up and all that. Um, but for some reason, we have gone back from having an in-display fingerprint to having a regular fingerprint at the back, which is something I don't understand why. But if you are a fan of techno or if you've been following their progress over the years, you will know that they're actually good at removing upgrades and downgrading things. For instance, the Techno Phantom 6 and the Techno Phantom 8 came with a USB-C. Now moving over to the upgraded version, which was the Techno Phantom 9, it came with a regular USB-A and some other things were removed. And so they are actually like that. Even the Techno Camon X Pro came with a 1080p display. The Techno Camon 11 now came with a 720p display, uh, which was a downgrade from the previous um, 1080p. So they are actually good at doing things like this. So this is not actually strange. Another thing that I really find very intriguing that is my favorite part of um, the Camon 15 Pro or the Camon 15 Premier, it's actually the display. And this thing has a very massive display, 6.6 .6 inches. That's something I really liked about the Huawei Y9s because of that massive um, display and um, motorized selfie camera. So even if you're watching a video, there's no notch, there's no hole punch on the display that will be interrupting whatever you're doing. So. I'm really excited that that has actually come to the um, Techno Camon 15 and also the fact that the Camon 15 now has a 1080p display so you can actually watch your YouTube videos now or consume media at 1080p which is a very big upgrade for me. It's something I've always been crying about in my previous videos about previous Techno phones and so it's nice to actually see the Camon 15 coming with a 10 Camon 15 Pro rather coming with a 1080p display. Really really good upgrade. I congratulate them for that. So moving over now to the battery, the regular Techno Camon 15 comes with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, while the Techno Camon 15 Pro comes with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which is really surprising. Now the Pro version is supposed to have everything Pro about it, including the battery. The battery is supposed to be the 5,000 milliamp hour battery that comes on the regular version. So reason being, the Techno Camon 15 Pro has a larger display than the regular Techno Camon 15. And so that large display will tend to consume more battery than the smaller display on the regular Techno Camon 15. We've seen this scenario play in other um, series of devices like the Galaxy S20 lineup of phones. 
Now, the Galaxy S20 Ultra's 5,000 milliamp power battery is not as good as the 4,000 milliamps that comes on the regular Galaxy S20. Why? Because the Galaxy S20 Ultra has a larger display. So the larger display on the Galaxy S20 Ultra consumes more power than the display on the, um, the smaller display on the regular Galaxy S20, which is the same scenario we, that we play out here between the Techno Camon 15 and the Techno Camon 15 Premier. So, and remember, the display on the Techno Camon 15 Premier is a 1080p display, and the display on the regular Techno Camon 15 is 720p. So, it still doesn't make sense why they had to use a larger battery on the smaller device and then a smaller battery on the bigger device. Well, that's what you get. And then another thing is that you still get the regular USB 2.0 in 2020 and that is totally unacceptable and because this device still comes with the regular usb 2.0 you still not have things like fast charging fast data transfer and a lot of other features that people enjoy right now with the usb c i mean even phones like the redmi 8 or the redmi 8a or the redmi 7 still comes with a usb c so why are we not having um, usb c on a phone that is over 250 dollars at this point in 2020 well, in 2020, who still wants to spend three hours charging their phone? My Galaxy um, A71 that has 4,500 mAh battery charges in just about 1 hour 30 minutes or 1 hour, one hour 40 minutes, depends. So if I um, buy a phone in 2020, I expect to be able to um, plug the phone if my battery is down, I give it like maybe 30 minutes to 40 minutes to have like 50 to 60% um, battery before I start running out of the door. But in this um, particular scenario, it's not there. So you're paying over $280 for the phone and then you can't get fast charging and these little things that don't really, that are not really locked on this anymore. You know, if it was like 2017 or thereabout, this is acceptable. But right now, it's totally unacceptable for a phone of this caliber to be coming with a regular USB-A. No. And then some other thing, this phone still comes with the MediaTek Hello P35. I mean, this is totally crazy. If they wanted to use the MediaTek processor on this phone, they could have used something like the MediaTek Hello G90T. Now, the G90T is the same um, chipset that is used on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. It's a fan fantastic chipset. It avoids the regular issues with these other MediaTek chipsets like overheating, um, phone dying and all. Now, one of the reasons I kick against MediaTek processors on devices is because MediaTek processors are not fit to run on phones, those older generations, I mean, like the G90T is actually okay. I've used it on the Redmi Note 8 Pro and I've enjoyed, <coughs> excuse me, and I've enjoyed it. Older MediaTek processors like the P35 that ran on last year's um, Techno Phantom 9 and is running on this year's Camon um, 15 is something I don't like because one of the reasons I don't like MediaTek processors is, or some of the reasons I don't like MediaTek processors, they overheat. That is the reason why, if you notice, most of the China devices you buy, Techno, Infinix, Itel, Joni, most of you always have these issues of overheating. Now, I have a lot of clients that come and complain, my phone is overheating, my phone is hanging, and all that. Now, I'm not telling you this from a layman's perspective. What is that? I'm telling you this as a technician and somebody that attends to customers on a daily basis, these are the issues I get. Now, another reason I don't like MediaTek processors is because on China phones, most of them don't receive updates. Like, if you notice your Infinix Techno ITEL and um, a few other China devices, they actually don't receive updates. Now, if you try to do updates on these devices, the devices will actually um, fail. Like, the updates will not complete, or if the update eventually completes and you install them, the devices will crash. And this is, this is something that I have faced several times. And I'm not just telling you this from a layman's perspective. I'm telling you from a point of um, experience. Like, I attend to customers on a daily basis because I do technical work on phones. And customers come to me on a daily basis. You have these issues of overheating. Some say, hey, I saw an update last week. My phone prompted me for an update and I updated. And at the end of the day, my phone, I can't find my files anymore. My phone won't come on anymore. Sometimes the phone still comes on. You plug it on the computer, but it won't display anymore and all that. So most times, if there's a new update, you don't, you don't do updates. And if you also notice, most of your China phones, Infinix Techno and ITEL, Journey and the rest of them, if, a new, if you buy the phone, let's assume now like the Camon 15 now comes with Android 10. Once you buy the phone with Android 10, you have to leave the phone on that very update or on that very OS version 
until the next time you buy another phone you dare not upgrade it upgrade the phone so it's actually crazy i don't think i want to buy a phone that i will not be able to upgrade to the next android version when a new one comes out so all these issues of no software support and all that is actually one of the reasons why i don't like mediatek processors running on devices Sometimes this issue is true of MediaTek processors have to do with the companies. Samsung have used the MediaTek processors in one of their A-series phones and the phone actually worked well even though we still experience the issues of lagging and overheating and all that. So these are the basic problems with MediaTek processors. Now also another thing about this phone is the fact that it still comes with iOS. iOS is the worst skin on Android as far as I'm concerned. It's very buggy, it comes with a lot of bloatware that some of them you can install, some you can't uninstall. Now, if we've had this issue where you have your phone with you as you're holding your phone, you will actually be seeing adverts appearing on the screen of your phone, like on your lock screen, you see different adverts appearing. Those things will actually be consuming your data and those things will actually be slowing down your phone. And these are the issues with iOS that has not or they have not addressed up to this point. And I was surprised to find out that the new Techno Camon 15 still has this very buggy iOS with a lot of these issues. So I hope by the next um, release, they fix some of these issues and allow us to enjoy our phones in peace. Hmm? Now to the ultimate complaint, the price. But this phone is priced at 95,000 Naira or $263 for the Techno Camon 15 Premier or the Techno Camon 15 Pro. Absolutely mad, like insane. How can you be paying with all of these things I have complained? Then you will not be paying $263 for this phone. $263 can buy you the Galaxy S9 Plus. $263 can buy you the Galaxy S8 or the Galaxy S8 Plus. $263 can buy you the Galaxy A70. $263 can buy you the Galaxy A50. Like the list is on. I can continue mentioning phones that $263 can buy for you. Now, all these phones I've mentioned, all of them have fast charging. Most of them are made in built in glass front and back. All of them are running on MediaTek processors of some sorts and all that. All of them have USB-Cs. So how can you leave all these kind of phones that will give you this value and all these things? And then you're coming mostly a phone like maybe the Galaxy um, A51, for instance. How can you leave the Galaxy A51 for that at that price point and come and buy the Techno Camon 15 Premier at that price point? It doesn't make sense. But outside of all of these things I've mentioned, the phone still looks like a great phone and when I eventually get my hand on it or when I eventually get a hands on on it, we're actually going to look at it together and then see some of these things. But for the obvious things that are not there, I don't think it will be worth your money. But hey, you are the one that owns the money. You are the one that works for it. You are the one that will decide what you will get with it. My job is just to help you make those decisions or help you and guide you through, alright? Just so you know, we have other videos here on the channel. I'll leave them here, 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 whatever on the screen. On the YouTube end screen, you can click there and um, go and check out other videos, all right? And please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, all right? Uh, I guess I'll catch you again in the next one.